As you know, with Miss Cooper's coaching, we were able to get Betty a small part in a new movie being shot on Johnny's lot. She traded in her flight suit for a bathing suit, and I have to say, she looks good. <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, Chief, I wanted to go. No offense, Tex, but uh, you're too skinny for the movies. <laughs> After the Lana Cooper disaster, that high hat Johnny Johnson thinks he's gonna save face with a new publicity stunt. Brother, is he wrong? Johnny's gonna show off his pride and joy tonight. The world's largest plane, the Spruce Goose. The big reveal is the talk of the town. All the newspaper, radio, and newsreel people are already swarming the joint. This is where we come in. We're gonna swipe Johnny's plane before he gets a chance to unveil it. Oh, Cap, you're bad, you're bad. Thank you. <laughs> the plane, uh, seaplane actually, is stored in this hangar here. Thanks to Betty's new backstage pass, she can get inside and commandeer it. But she needs our help to get out. The only way to blow open these heavy doors is from the inside. Betty says these fake torches are fueled by huge propane tanks. I'll fly in through the back of the hangar and blow those tanks. That should open them. And if they don't? I'll crash into those doors at full speed. Talk about your short missions. <laughs> yeah. Once the hangar is open, Betty will fire up the Spruce Goose and taxi her down this channel out into the Pacific. Once Betty's airborne, we need to clear out any enemy fighters in the area so she can safely get out to sea. We'll rendezvous with her later. Any questions? Good. Let's get to it.
Everybody, mission accomplished. 